Hey everyone, how's it going? Bit of a different video today. I've got the famed GM112. It's the smallest 1x12 cab I can find on the internet. It's from DV427, and I've been using it as a living room rig, just something to plug a small amp into and pedals just to get a tone. Something about as big as like a practice modeling amp. I used to use the PV Viper stuff, and this is around the same size, but just a little bit deeper. What I'm gonna do is I'll show you it in its stock form with the stock speaker. I've got some IRs taken of that already, and then I'm gonna fit it with a Celestium V30 and take some IRs of it, and then we're gonna compare all of those tones in my DAW in Reaper. The best way to change your tone is still to change the speaker. And I've been curious about this and my V30 has been sitting in my cupboard for ages. So I'm gonna show you the cab as it is and then I'm gonna fit the V30 and then I'll, uh, I'll see you in the DAW. Yeah, so here's the cab guys. This is probably the smallest cab I can find on the internet. You can look at the handles, fairly standard stuff, nothing special. Pretty sure it's made of MDF. Yeah, the corners on it, you know, they're all plastic. As far as the weight, I mean, it's sort of middling. The speaker's not that heavy, really. I, I can imagine it's not that heavy when I get it out. And the speaker itself, yeah, it's eight ohm, and it's a 100 watt speaker. It's got a lot of kick. And as you can see, the construction, it's sort of, you know, half open back. I like a closed back cab. They tend to be more punchy, more percussive. Much better for metal playing and chug chug sounds. But it's been pretty cool. It's actually a pretty big sounding cab for how small it actually is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the speaker out and um, fit the V30. So this is the V30 I've got. It's definitely from China. I've got it out of my PRS cab. It's been out of that cab for a couple of years. I've been curious to know if it's one of those newer ones that Glenn Fricker was talking about. I think he talked to Celestian and they said that some of the newer ones in the past year or two have been changed ever so slightly just to be a little bit more in line with how they were making them like about 20 years ago. Because the ones from about 20 years ago, late 90s, early noughties, were the coveted models. So I've got a number there, I don't know if it means anything. But what I do know is, it sounds great regardless. This is the speaker that uh, made the barefoot pack, so they're some of my favorite IRs ever. All right, it's in the cab. Uh, it was a bit strange. The speaker I got out here, here it is. It was only screwed in with uh, three screws, you know, two at the side, one on the bottom. So yeah, so I've only got three screws in this on the Celestian, two at the top and one in the uh, one on the bottom corner, uh, which is fine. Seems to be pretty sturdy in there. The cab is the uh, the wooden panel I took off to get the speaker out. Uh, it's definitely MDF. Yeah, the V30 is substantially heavier than the other speaker. See how it sounds. Hey everyone, right, I am in Reaper. I've got AHM5050 loaded up. This is where I first tested my first IRs that I captured over two years ago. And I just know it really well for doing that sort of thing. Uh, I've got my Harley Benton Fusion T all stocked in drop D. I've got uh, the gate on, got the drive to boost the front end of the amp. It's a 5150 sim, if you don't know it, check it out. Cab section, I've got the effects off. What we're looking at here, I captured IRs with my MPM 1000 mic. It's a Marantz condenser mic. It's got a nice detailed mid-range, like any condenser has, sort of a slightly hyped top end and a big low end. Perfect mic for getting as much detail out of a speaker as possible. And I've captured the stock speaker, I'll have that on the left side. And then I swapped the speaker in the cab for the V30, as you just saw. And I've captured the exact same mic positions with the exact same gain staging, all that good stuff. And I've got three separate mic positions, cap edge, cone middle, and cone, which is like the edge of the cone. So we'll start with the stock speaker. <laughs> Quite full in the low end, decent mid, big top end. We go to the V30. This is the exact same mic, exact same mic position. A 
Well, I mean, like what I can hear, obviously a massive difference. The top end has been low passed quite a bit. The mid range is completely different. The V30 has a very particular mid range and the low end is still there, but very tight. It's not quite as subby. So I'll just go through what I have. So this is the V30 cap edge. This is, um, you know, just where the cap meets the cone, a very classic position. <laughs> And for the size of the cab, that's that's a pretty cool tone. I mean, if you want more low end, you can always touch the resonance control. If someone told me that was a 2x12 close back or even a 4x12 close back, I'd probably believe them. But it's not. It's the smallest, cheapest cab I could find that's half open back. And it's MDF. I mean, it, it's quite un unbelievable, really. So I'll just AB the two. So I've got the stock speaker and the V30, same position. <laughs> So that's almost too much resonance now, so I'd pull that down. You know, way brighter as well. And I took this speaker out, mainly because I've got a V30 sitting in my cupboard, but I knew that the, the high end was just too much for my living room rig. I'm using one of those GP100s by Veilton, and I'm putting that through a power ramp, and the high end is just so digital and brittle, I thought, I've got to do something about this. So instead of like EQing it to death, I thought I'll try a different speaker. And, you know, hey presto, it just works, because the high end on this is too much, really. If you go to the V30, that's just way more how I like it. So I'm just gonna click through these. I'll have these linked below, just in this video. Pick them up if you want them. This is code middle, it'll be a bit darker. And the cone edge, a lot darker. So I'm just gonna load up, I've got this V30 here. This is the one I used in the Barefoot pack. I'm gonna load up the Barefoot pack. Barefoot 7 is the same mic, same mic position, same speaker as this here. The only difference is the cab. So let's just compare the two, go to something a little bit more neutral on the amp. So this is the V30 in the Fame cab. <laughs> And this is Res Barefoot 7. The only thing that's changed is the cab. Uh, as you can hear right away, tons more resonance. There's huge amounts of low end. So what I do with Res Barefoot 7 is uh, just take the bass down and the resonance down straight away. <laughs> And Barefoot 7 is probably one of my favorite IRs ever. So if you want to know which one I prefer, definitely Barefoot 7. But I don't know. I mean, this is the same speaker. <laughs> Sounds a lot thinner, but you know, boost the low end and you get something quite interesting. <laughs> So that's about it guys, they're the differences between a V30 and the stock speaker and the difference between this V30 in a small cab and in a bigger cab. Check out the IRs, they're linked below. All right guys, since you made it this far, I just want to plug my music. It's available from the links below. If you like metal, death metal, anything like that, check it out. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more metal related stuff. I'll be back sometime with a video on something else, so until then, ciao.